Yes, I, I too am well aware of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, which essentially um, kind of re reaffirms some of the previous 1700 uh, clauses uh, that preceded even of this. Um, and you can tell through the genealogy of uh, the Constitution and its amendments and its ratification and the process of the law with legislation, uh, what was necessarily intended, the outcome that we see today is an extenuation uh, of a form of slavery. Uh, and it's hidden in plain sight, of course, because it's right in our uh, constitutional amendment to the United States. And so it becomes very clear, not only as the defendant has mentioned the importance of having these kinds of forms, but it's the education and awareness. What is the significance uh, of these factors? And, 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 and just because for far too often they only impact certain people at a certain period of time, it seems, uh, but in all actuality, uh, the institutionalization of the penal system, incarceration itself, is an institution that this government upholds and that our tax dollars confirm. Right, so we all actually are part of participating uh, in the management, creation, and cessation of uh, the institutionalization of mass incarceration. So we have to be quite aware, become more aware, become actively involved, and understand what's at stake.